Hello and welcome to Marketing Week's Digital Decoders series, where we look at the latest technology and why marketers should be using it. I'm Mindy Chahal, a senior writer at Marketing Week, and I'm here today at Framestore to talk with co-founder Mike McGee about virtual reality. So Mike, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, let's start off with a big question. Um, tell us all the latest we need to know about VR. We've only been in the VR industry of business for just over four years, and we've seen a, seen a huge uh, development of technology and of the quality of experiences over that time. I've seen people crying, I've seen people's legs trembling, I've had people screaming and tearing off the headsets, and we've had that first time engagement with the tech. Now things are settling down a little more and the content is becoming much more considered and brands are looking for ways that they can actually utilize this now as a new storytelling platform that's relevant to their product or what they're trying to sell. So I've just tried the Game of Thrones experience. Can you tell me a bit about what's going on there, what I'm doing? So in the Game of Thrones experience, we've taken the audience inside the world of the Game of Thrones. We've given people a bow and arrow and we allow them to move around in real space. And as they move around, they move around inside the virtual world. All of these um, things combined give you a very physical um, moving experience inside a branded world. So the Google Daydream, I've just tried Fantastic Beasts. Um, what's some of the differences there using that mobile device? So the Google Daydream is a mobile device inside a headset. But the difference between that and mobile devices um, up to now is that you also have a handheld clicker or a device that is tracked also to the headset so that you can now interact with a piece of 360 content. Additional content again can be made and fed to that device to give people a much more immersive connection to the stories that are being told. So Mike, what's next in VR and shared experiences? VR at the moment is currently a very singular experience. You put the headset on, it's all about you, albeit in the center of the story. What brands are looking for is a bigger reach. How can they reach larger audiences? So for, for Framestore, um, the latest project we created last year was to put school children onto a school bus and then turn the bus itself into a giant headset. We replaced all the windows uh, with transparent computer screens, and once the bus got to 30 miles per hour, we then switched the screens to display the surface of Mars. We have to discover new ways of telling stories and creating narratives and leading people through um, an environment. And that's what's really exciting, is how to use this new platform to create truly immersive first-time experiences for people that can create emotional memories. Oh God, I enjoyed that way too much. <laughs>